Use truth tables to determine whether the argument forms in 6 through 11 are valid. Indicate which columns represent the premises and which represent the conclusion, and include a sentence explaining how the truth table supports your answer. Your explanation should show that you understand what it means for a form of argument to be valid or invalid. So here we have a series of three statements, and we have not R as the conclusion. So if we're going to build a truth table, let's first build all four of these statements. Okay, so let's start with building not R, and then we'll need P and Q, and then we can do the first statement, which is P and Q implies not R. So this is only false precisely when P and Q is true and not R is false, and that's only the case in the first row. So next we'll need to get not Q. So now we can do P or not Q. So here we're comparing the first column and the seventh column, and if either one has at least one truth value of T, then the, the or statement is true. And then we can look at not Q implies P. So this is only false precisely when not Q is true and P is false. And so that means the implication is false on the last two lines. Okay, so now let's talk about whether or not this form of argument is valid or invalid. To determine whether this argument is valid, we have to know whether or not the truth of these th first three statements imply the truth of not R. So that means whenever line one, two, and three are all true, then it must be the case that not R is true. Otherwise, we would have a counterexample. So for example, on the red column, the first line is false, meaning that our assumption isn't even true. So automatically, the form of argument for this entire series of statements would be true simply because the premise is already false. And so we don't even have to consider whether or not the conclusion is true or false because one of our assumptions is already false. And if one of our assumptions is already false, then the form of argument is true. The only time the form of argument is false is when the assumptions are all true and the conclusion is false. Now, that said, if we look at the second row, the red statement form is true, the green statement form is true, and the purple statement form is true. So all of my assumptions are true, and so in order for this form of argument to be valid, we need the conclusion to be true, which is the case. So that checks off. The next line, however, we see a big problem. The red statement is true, the green statement is true, and the purple statement is true. And so all of my assumptions are true, but the conclusion itself is false, meaning that we found a counterexample to this form of argument, precisely when P is true, Q is false, and R is true. In that specific example, that would be our counterexample to this form of argument. So once we have one counterexample to a form of argument, that means the entire form is invalid. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.